And what we did is we reprocessed that death file. We isolated the cases where COVID-19 is the underlying cause of death, as well as the deaths where COVID is mentioned, but not listed as the underlying cause of death. And through this process, we found clear cut examples from the Minnesota Department of Health's own files, public records, Rachel, of uh, suicide, a drowning, an auto accident where the passenger was ejected from the vehicle. We found dementia, those are the sad cases, really sad cases when uh, they're dying of dementia, but also being classified as a COVID death and strokes. Um, I also uh, just was so shocked at what I found that I just could not keep silent. So in Florida, there was a house report that said a COVID-19 uh, death toll was inflated by 10%. In Washington, it's been reported that the death toll could be overinflated by 13%. And in Colorado, it has been uh, reported that at least two cases of gunshot victims were being classified as COVID-19 deaths. And that is why we are calling for a full audit. And President Trump, if you are watching Fox and Friends this morning, I am asking you to request a full audit of every single state in the nation because Minnesota is not an anomaly. The citizens of our country are being led in fear and that fear is leading them to make irrational decisions based on the governors with their shutdowns, uh, with us not being able to exercise our life, our liberty, our pursuit of happiness. And so we need this audit. We need the truth and the public deserves the truth. Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Two Minnesota lawmakers are calling for an audit of coronavirus deaths in the state. They raised the alarm after reviewing data from nearly 3,000 death certificates, and they found that 800 of those counted as a COVID death actually didn't have COVID as an underlying cause of death. Join me, joining me now are Minnesota state lawmakers, Mary Franson and Scott Jensen, who is also a practicing physician. Welcome to you both. Let me start by asking, um, asking you, Mary, what motivated you to take a look into these, uh, into this data? Uh, thank you. So some concerned citizens came forward and they actually had uh, the death files from the Minnesota Department of Health that they had purchased and asked me to take a look at what they were seeing. Uh, there was a lot of data. So I enlisted a team of some pretty smart people to look at it, including Dr. Jensen. And what we did is we reprocessed that death file. We isolated the cases where COVID-19 is the underlying cause of death, as well as the deaths where COVID is mentioned, but not listed as the underlying cause of death. And through this process, we found clear cut examples from the Minnesota Department of Health's own files, public records, Rachel, of uh, suicide, a drowning, an auto accident where the passenger was ejected from the vehicle. We found dementia, those are the sad cases, really sad cases when uh, they're dying of dementia, but also being classified as a COVID death and strokes. Um, I also uh, just was so shocked at what I found that just could not keep silent. So who, who is directing that these deaths be counted in this way? I mean, who's, who's, how is this happening that this data is being, being so corrupted? Where's the direction coming from? Well, thank you I think you that's a good that. question for doctors, yeah. Sure. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Jensen? If, if you go back to April last year, this, this past year, you'll see that the Department of Health and the CDC were both putting out advice and instructions to go ahead and use COVID-19 in a more casual manner than we've used before. It was as if the, the format that we've used for the last 17 years to identify the initiating event and the sequence of causation was changed if it involved COVID-19. That's where it started. So I think that we've seen a tremendous encouragement to go ahead and use COVID-19 as one of the diagnoses in the cause of death sequence. The most important diagnosis on a death certificate is the underlying cause of death. 
the underlying cause of death is oftentimes referred to as the UCAD. That's the one that gets tabulated as a part of our federal registrar. When we say that 650,000 Americans died of heart disease in the last year, we're looking at where was this diagnosis placed on the death certificate, and it would have been the underlying cause of death. But I think it begs a question that we have to follow the money. And when you see that the right. 2.2 2 trillion question. dollars came in, they were providing, if you could hit a threshold of 161 admissions to your hospital with COVID-19 diagnosis between January and June, you receive $77,000 of additional money for each one of those admissions. Wow. Well, that's that's the that's the million dollar question. Why? And you're saying that it's it's for the money and that's that the CDC and the health departments are allowing this data to get corrupted really quickly. Do you think that this kind of miscounting is being is happening across the country, not just in Minnesota? So in Florida, there was a health report that said a COVID-19 uh, death toll was inflated by 10 percent. In Washington, it's been reported that the death toll could be overinflated by 13 percent. And in Colorado, it has been uh, reported that at least two cases of gunshot victims were being classified as COVID-19 deaths. And that is why we are calling for a full audit. And President Trump, if you are watching Fox and Friends this morning, I am asking you to request a full audit of every single state in the nation, because Minnesota is not an anomaly. The citizens of our country are being led in fear, and that fear is leading them to make irrational decisions based on the governors with their shutdowns, uh, with us not being able to exercise our life, our liberty, our pursuit of happiness. And so we need this audit. We need the truth and the public deserves the truth. Thank well, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Dr. Jensen. This is very important. And you're right. The American people deserve the truth. Um, thank you.